We are just three days away from the WNBA draft in Brooklyn. It's expected by most experts and mock drafts that the Indiana Fever will take Iowa's Caitlin Clark first overall. No surprise to anyone. Thursday, ESPN analysts and WNBA executives spoke to the media ahead of the draft. ESPN's Rebecca Lobo, a women's basketball legend, says this draft is going to be one for the books because of the major players that are in right now, including number 22. I mean, certainly we have a star coming into this draft, kind of unlike anyone we've seen um, coming into the draft in terms of popularity and um, and how many people are excited about watching her play in the WNBA and watching on television in terms of uh, Caitlin Clark. But of course, there are some other players that people are really excited about thinking they can be long term pros. The rise in popularity of women's basketball is not going unnoticed. The commissioner of the WNBA, Kathy Engelbert, shared her thoughts on the state of women's sports. She spoke with GMA anchor Robin Roberts yesterday. Engelbert praised the massive increase in interest in women's basketball and the rivalry between Caitlin Clark and other major players for having such a big impact. So when the one thing I learned in sports after coming in uh, from a long career in business is you need household names, rivalries, and games of consequence. And March Madness delivered on all three of those um, coming off of last year's national championship with Angel and Caitlin, a little rivalry. They met in the Elite Eight this year, then Paige and Caitlin on the Friday night, and everybody's excited about the matchups, and that's drawing a lot of attention as well and a lot of eyes to the game.